Welcome to the Cardiff Lion Start How To Guide, which will support you as a practitioner to use the traffic light strategy in your setting. This practical step-by-step -step guide will walk you through the process of using traffic lights to support children's transition throughout the session. What are traffic lights? Imagine how you would feel if you were engrossed in your favourite TV programme and you were told you have to leave it and miss the ending. You might feel pretty frustrated at this. Children will often feel the same. Traffic lights are a visual aid. They are used to help children to understand the daily routines in your setting. The visual tool helps to encourage independence, build confidence and improve understanding. Traffic lights are a great tool to help avoid frustration and anxiety in all children. Traffic lights are not used as a behaviour tool. It is simply a visual strategy that helps remind children that one activity is finishing and another is starting. Traffic lights can be used to support children who may have communication difficulties or a speech and language delay but can benefit all children within an inclusive environment when used consistently by all practitioners. When should I use traffic lights? As I've said, it can be good inclusive practice for all children if practitioners use traffic lights within their setting consistently. Traffic lights can be used anytime when one activity is ending and another is starting. This could be for snack time, circle time, small group times or tidy up time. Traffic lights, when used correctly, will help children who may have difficulty switching between different tasks by giving them a warning or a reminder that an activity is ending and another is beginning. When working with a child that struggles with transition between different activities, we encourage the child to look at or touch the relevant traffic light. With groups of children, practitioners can show their traffic lights to the group by holding the traffic light upright so it can be seen by all the children. If you know a child has particular difficulty with concentration or communication, Sit these children close to a member of staff who can show the traffic light to the individual child at their eye level. Here's what to do. The green symbol should be used to indicate an activity is about to start. Try to establish eye contact with the child or children if possible and if necessary prompt the child to touch the symbol to reinforce the message. First, Hold out the green traffic light and say, for example, circle time is starting. The yellow traffic light is the most important of the three as it gives a reminder of when an activity is nearly finished. Remember to encourage eye contact and if necessary, gently prompt the child to touch the yellow traffic light to reinforce their understanding. The yellow symbol gives the child time to process that there will be a change happening and it will hopefully ease the transition. Hold out the card and say, for example, circle time is nearly finished. The red circle indicates that an activity has finished. Hold up the red card and say, for example, circle time is finished. Guide the child or children to the next activity. Once you have shown the red symbol, it is not negotiable. You must follow this through. The more often that you use the traffic lights, the sooner children will understand the different transitions at your setting. This will cause less anxiety for the children who have difficulty switching between different tasks. It's important that the traffic light symbols are clearly visible at all times. Don't forget to get down to the child's eye level for them to see. It is always good to encourage children to individually touch the cards as this reinforces their understanding, but it is harder to do on a larger scale, such as during circle time. On these occasions, hold your traffic lights up 
and all practitioners to do the same. If you know a child has particular difficulties with concentration or communications, sit these children close to a member of staff so they can show the traffic lights to the individual child. Top tips. Be consistent. The more you do it, the quicker the children learn the routine. Remember, it is important for the traffic lights to be shown at the children's eye level. It needs to be a whole staff approach. Help and support each other. It might feel strange at first, but the more you do it, the more natural it will feel and be part of your daily practice. Make sure that you have a path for every member of staff. It would be an idea if you made lots of spares for when they get broken or lost. For new staff members, please ensure that they are given a set of traffic lights and have the opportunity to watch the how-to guide. A PDF of this how-to guide will be available to download on the Leaders and Managers Facebook group. More Early Years Best Practice Ideas brought to you by the Cardiff Blind Start Advice.